the question says in the equation this is an equation given here the coefficients of i phi 2 plus and i plus n are respectively we can balance this equation and then we can find out the coefficients keep in mind in the equation i plus n is given here it means equation is balanced in acidic medium let's write down the equation we have cr we have cr2 o7 2 minus and then we have fe2 plus as plus n is a part of medium we can balance hydrogen later on and then we have cr3 plus and then we get fe3 plus this is the actual equation given here we can balance this equation first of all we write down the oxidation number of elements on both side of the equation there are seven oxygen and each oxygen you are minus two we can calculate also two crs we have uh, two crs and seven oxygen each oxygen you are minus two is equal to overall charge is minus two two crs minus 14 is equal to minus two then two cr is equal to minus two plus 14 is equal to we get plus 12 then one cr will be equal to plus six oxidation numbers you can see one CR is present in plus six oxidation numbers. Next is Fe2 plus. This is monoatomic ion. The charge of monoatomic ion is equal to its oxidation number. Similarly, Cr3 plus and Fe3 plus is there. Now we can compare the oxidation numbers. Okay, of the same elements. Always keep in mind increase in oxidation number is always oxidation, and decrease in oxidation number is always reduction reaction. Okay, so if you compare. The oxidation number of CRs, it is present in plus 3, other side it is, no sorry, it is present in plus 6, other side it is present in plus 3, decrease in oxidation number, plus 6 to plus 3, decrease in oxidation number is reduction reaction, okay. In case of iron, you can see it is present in plus 2, other side it is present in plus 3, plus 3 to, pl no sorry, plus 2 to plus 3, increase in oxidation number, and increase in oxidation number is what, oxidation reaction, okay. Always balance the number of atoms before balancing the charge. Okay? Always keep in mind, balance the number of atoms before balancing the charge. Such as, you can see there are two chromium. On this side, only one chromium is there. So, first of all, we balance the number of atoms. Okay? First of all, we balance the number of atoms. Two chromium, one chromium. So, multiplied by two. Okay? So, you can see one CR is plus six, then two CRs. Multiplied by 2 is equal to plus 12 oxidation number. 1 CR is at what plus 3, then 2 CR will be what plus 6 is there. Now we can find the difference in oxidation numbers. Plus 12 and 6 is there. So difference in oxidation number 12 minus 6 is equal to 6 electron is there. We get 6 electron. Okay, in case of chromium. Now we can compare the oxidation number of iron. So left side it is present in plus 2, other side it is present in plus 3. Difference in oxidation number 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 electron is there. Okay, now we can balance the number of electron. <coughs> so you can see in this half equation six electrons, other half equation one electron. So I do one thing, I multiplied by six. So six will come here also, six will come here also. <coughs> electrons are balanced. Since this equation is balanced in acidic medium, H plus N is there. Now we can balance uh, <coughs> oxygen, sorry. How many oxygen? Seven oxygen. To balance oxygen, we take help of water molecule I attaches seven water molecule on other side. Number of oxygen atoms are balanced on both side. Now balance hydrogen seven to the fourteen. We get fourteen hydrogen on the left side. Equation is completely balanced. Now for Fe two plus and S plus and we can look at the coefficient. Where is Fe two plus? You can see six is there for Fe two plus. For S plus and 14 is there. So 6 comma 14 is there. Look at the option 6 comma 14. We got the option B. Okay. Option B is correct. <coughs>